Clint Houston, and I'm back with another pickup. This one is uh, another one from Quinman123. These are the Jordan 4 Levi's collab. And this is my second pair because the first pair was really bad. It was a $60 version. And these were, believe it or not, these are $30 more. And they were $89. And the quality on these is 10 times better than the last pair. You can see right here. On the little Levi's tag, it does have the little circle with the R. The other version had one, but it was like way in the back over here. And it wasn't visible on this side. This version did come with the correct laces, the denim laces. With the little bronze tips here. You can see the Jumpman looks way better on this version. It's got the correct version of red. It's like a really bright red. The flight looks good and this material actually feels like the material on the back pair of a Levi's jeans. The little tag, it has this little, it's kind of hard to describe it, it's almost like a leathery cardboard texture to it. And it does wrinkle up when you press, when you press up on it. Yeah, that one, it, it, it shows up a lot better, we'll get to that one in a minute. Here's toe box everything looks good on it and the denim on these and the last pair this one's a little more sturdy and this part here has a little bit more padding into it the wings here are better on these these are a lot thicker the other one was just like a piece of denim and these actually feel like they have a uh, something in, like padding in the inside of it the way it's supposed to be, these are a lot sturdier than the last version. This looks like it's double layered. You can see it there. Inside it's got the Air Jordan with the Levi's. And this one's a lot higher. The $60 version, it was like way down here. You can see the Jumpman on the back of these. And I would do a comparison, but I sold the other the other version um, that I had for $30 I had distressed them and I um, faded them out they were like a kind of a light blue and they, I did a little distress cuts in them and I I sold them for 30 bucks so I don't have them here to to compare but take my word for it these are a lot better and go with this pair if you can uh, if you're looking to get a pair just go with these and don't buy the $60 version. Just pay that little extra money and get a better quality shoe. You can see the back, it's nice and lined up. And one thing about these is they will crease right here when you start wearing them. Because I, I tried these on twice. Because I did try to do an on foot, but it didn't work out. I need to get some kind of a tripod or something for my for the camera phone here but we'll we'll try it again once I get that little tripod because the camera the phone kept falling down they wouldn't I couldn't get a any good video on it so I'm gonna look into getting a tripod so we can start doing some on foot reviews and here's the left shoe and it, you can see the difference in the tag between this and the old version this one actually has stitching in it the other one did not. These are a lot thinner. The other one was a lot thicker. This one has the correct red on it. It doesn't look pink like the other one. And it does not come with the long chain. I added a, a second chain here. You can see um, I had another keychain of these little hang tags and I just used a chain to make it look like it's supposed to because it's supposed to be long like this. So it comes with a little short chain that's just about that that high uh, anyway let's get into the tongue on this one this one has the size on it and it's got the Air Jordan 4 there with the Levi's and this one is it's a lot thinner too like it should be it's not as thick as the other one Yeah, the tongue's a lot sturdier on this one too. 
it's not flimsy it's got the correct shape the little curved shape on the top here correct laces the only thing I'm not sure but I think this is supposed to come down a little lower like it's supposed to have a more of a curve here on the front but I don't know because I watched some other people video that well they claim they're authentic but they look exactly like this I didn't see any differences between mine and theirs so I don't know let's look at the back of this shoe here you can see the jump man there it is popping out it's not like the other one where it's kind of flat So you can see it sticks out there. The stitching looks good on this. Try and get a full rotation of the shoe stitching on this one. And let's get into the box. Inside the box it came with the shoe trees. The paper says Levi Strauss on it. And I think it did have a sticker on it. Yeah, it came with this little green sticker. I don't know if that means anything, but that's what it came with. Uh, let me see if I can get the this lid off. So look at the label. Here's a look at the label. And pause that if you need to read it. And it did come with the card. Once again, you can pause it if you need to read it. It's gold and red, nothing on the back, nothing on the inside, just a jump man on the outside. And that's pretty much the end of uh, the box. There's nothing else in it. So here's another final look at the shoe. So like I said, if you want a pair, just go to Quinn Men's. These are $89. They're well, well worth the price. It's a big step up from the $60 version ones. Oh, I don't know if we looked at the insoles on these. This one has the Levi's down there. This one has the Jumpman on this side. Let's look at that insole. I think they're thick. Yes, it has thick insoles on it. It's got glue on the bottom. Yeah, it's still sticky. It's got denim on the insole here. So that's pretty much everything. I think I've covered everything on it. It's got gum bottom with white and red on the bottom. Air unit. Yeah, there's another flaw there. The, the air unit has a lot of glue on it. On both shoes. Yeah, you can see it there, I think. Yeah, both of them have it. So it's just one of the little flaws, but I don't think anybody's gonna really gonna be checking for any glue or anything like that. This one's a little clear. So that's pretty much it. So I do got some more um, shoes on the way. So keep a lookout for that, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.